Good morning, everybody. Dave here with Nelson Creek Farm, welcoming you all back to the channel and to the new subscribers. Good morning. Doing something I don't like to do today, but I haven't got much of a choice with daytime temperatures all of a sudden in the 70s. We got to get some water out there on that grass uh, hay. Get it? Start coming up some. I'm using the domestic well to uh, get some water out there. Yeah. Anyway. We've got a lot of little projects to do today, so come along for the ride. We'll be up to something. Well, I wish I could say it was a good day today. It really is. This morning's okay. We got a real stiff breeze going on this morning. The breeze is very cool. In fact, the uh, sprinkler I turned on a bit ago had to get some ice chunks pushed through the hose and whatnot for it to work. But we've had temperatures in the upper 70s. In fact, we even bounced around 80, 81 for a day. And as you can see, I've got grass that needs to be mowed. So we're going to be getting out the lawnmower this week, cleaning up the place, trimming some bushes. Plus, we're still going to get the gravel that's here in the bar pit, out of the bar pit yet. So a lot of things going on. This, the tax day for the United States. So if you ain't got it done, today's the day you got to get them turned in and in the mail. Anyway, we're going to get on with it. One of the things that uh, we need to get to, I don't know if I will today or not, but it's for this little pickup. As you know, it had developed a leak in its overflow tank for the radiator. So, yeah, I've picked up one. A couple of bolts holds it in, that's it. Uh, there's just these two, and then this thing just, or three, I guess, and it just hangs out there and flops around. Um, but yeah, we're gonna replace that this week. If I can, if I get time, we'll do it today. One of the other things I managed to do is I discovered at the in-town job, we had a 300 foot roll of 160 PSI poly pipe, one inch in diameter, on clearance for about half of what it normally is. This stuff is darned expensive for a 300 foot roll. So yeah, for half of what a new 300 foot roll cost me, I picked this one up. We're gonna run this from the irrigation pump house over to the garden area across the driveway and then through the orchard across the driveway again along the barn and we're gonna put a hydrant out there on the east end of the barn. So if I ever need to run irrigation water out there, we'll have it. Unfortunately, my time is pretty limited today. I have to have a meeting uh, at the care center where my mother's at today. So that's going to kill a good couple hours of uh, dealing with that today. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and toss this in the backyard so it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And we'll get to this, installing this, eventually, hopefully this week. Because, as rumor has it, Today's the day the canal company will be turning down the irrigation water. So my ponds will be filling up and the Nelson Creek will be flowing again for the season. Yeah. Alrighty, well I gotta run into town now. So the wind is coming up, so we may not get a lot done today outside. Um, yeah, I got to run in and go talk to mother, her care center, uh, family members, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. So, but I do have a bit of good news for y'all. Yeah. I just got off the phone with a nice fellow for, by the name of Luke at XPO Logistics in Pocatello, Idaho, which is about two hours or so east of here at a regional distribution terminal. He tells me that a pair of brand new toys for the farm is sitting at the terminal in Salt Lake City, Utah, which is about four hours away from here. So tomorrow that stuff will be shipped from Pocatello or from Salt Lake City to Pocatello and then to the terminal uh, here in Twin Falls, which is about 12 miles away from here. So this week, for those of you that have been waiting, the new toys will be here at the farm. But with the wind picking up, there's storm clouds coming from the east, which is usually a good sign that we're going to catch some rain and nasty weather 
which is why we're the wind is picking up. Um, yeah, I think uh, once I get back from dealing with Mother's deal, uh, I'll have to wait till this evening to get something done. So that may be it for the day. If not, I'll be right back. Ooh, zoom, zoom. <laughs> One of the last things we're going to do today is replace the rubber gasket that goes around this door. Uh, if you recall last fall, I broke the door when it popped open and I hit a, a ATV with it and uh, shattered it. And the glass was replaced. We reused the old rubber gasket and it was suggested that I was missing a piece of it because there's about a five inch chunk uh, that, where it doesn't meet. And a spare part was put in it and I still don't think it's right. So anyway, I bought some new rubber gasket material and we're going to replace it around the edge of this door here. And uh, I'll show you why. There's a couple places that have an issue. First problem is this gap right here between the uh, ends of the rubber. It was originally glued and there's traces of glue here where the ends touched, but there is no trace of glue on that end. And it was suggested that I was missing a piece. Well, I don't think I'm missing a piece. I think it was uh, not stretched out right or something. And let's see, there was, oh yeah, right here. I don't recall that being that way. That's the uh, metal that's inside of there that grips the uh, edge of the glass. It has ripped through that. Now, that may have happened uh, somewhere along the lines, but uh, I don't recall that being there when I went through and picked all the glass out of the inside of that channel. So this rubber just comes out or off. You can hear those little fingers releasing their grip on that. Yeah, I don't recall that damage because I handled every square inch of this and I don't recall that being on there. So I think that damage was done somewhere after the fact, I do believe. The tricky part I see to doing this is getting the rubber gasket around the window. Yeah, hinges there for door hinges. Okay, there's the old gasket out. Yeah, now for the new. Now, so I don't have to deal with this entire wad trying to stuff it in and around those hinges. I'm going to start here at the bottom of the door and work my way up and around and over the top down that side so I have a shorter piece to argue into position. And hopefully this stuff fits. Now my dealer told me that I he'd have to order it if he needed more. Well, I just went on Flea Bay and ordered some there, and I'm going to call it good with that. Well, I get this pushed on there, and it'll stick to it with any luck. Kind of a bugger to get it on there. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today, folks. Just some of the stuff I got going on. Kind of one day at a time. Um, yeah, that's about all you can do anymore. Just hope and pray for the best and do one day at a time. So, anyway, for me and all the rest of the Rock Chucks, Gophers, and Voles, and Gizmo the Dog, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we'll catch up with you in the next one. Yeah, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll be out in the field doing something. As soon as I get some free time here. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all be careful out there. Bye-bye for now.